Deer Creek Audio, your trusted technical resource. This video walks you through the setup of a home theater multi-subwoofer configuration using the Mini DSP 2x4 HD or Flex, referred to as Mini DSP. This process will help optimize the performance of your subwoofer system, and its integration into your home theater system. Once you finish the basic setup, your subwoofer system will be operational and ready for further tuning with Room EQ Wizard, REW, and or implementation of a Dirac Live project. This method takes multiple subwoofers and combines them into a single virtual corrected subwoofer. We calibrate the single virtual room corrected subwoofer independently of the audio video receiver or processor. After this is complete, your single virtual subwoofer reconnects to the AVR and appears as a single monaural subwoofer. Then you can apply your home AVR correction process, such as Odyssey, ARC, YPAO, Dirac, etc., to your entire system, with its ideal virtual subwoofer attached. Subwoofer placement will be driven by the number of subwoofers in your system, listening room configuration, and aesthetics. In general, spatial diversity is preferred. Be sure that all of the subwoofer cables are of good quality, adequate length, and securely connected. At this time, you can check that the built-in level, equalization, inversion, and crossover frequencies of the subwoofers are either bypassed or set to nominal. REW signals generated in your computer will be sent to the Mini DSP via USB. Your subwoofer should be set as you see here, so as to not interfere with the crossover and parametric equalization, or PEQ, parameters that will be set up in the Mini DSP. Follow the Mini DSP user guide instructions to download the plug-in, USB drivers, Dirac Live, and REW as appropriate. Be sure to remove any old Mini DSP, Dirac Live, or REW software. The subwoofers will be configured as a single monaural virtual subwoofer, as shown in this routing matrix example. These adjustments are made on the input page of the Mini DSP. During setup, the input will be USB for REW and Dirac test signals. When the single monaural virtual subwoofer setup is complete, the Mini DSP will connect to your AVR subwoofer out via RCA analog. Set the Mini DSP master volume to 0 dB, maximum, this way the Mini DSP operates without attenuation. For an example of other subwoofer routing configurations, see our tech blog video on simplifying the science of subwoofer integration. Link in the description below. We present two approaches to time aligning all of the subwoofers within the group. The first and simplest approach uses physical distance measurements. This requires that all the subwoofers be of the same design. In this video, we'll focus on this method. Using physical measurements for determining the delay offsets from the various subwoofers to the listening position assumes the subwoofers are the same design and have equivalent near-field latency and phase. Otherwise, delay can be set electronically with REW. From the plug-in output page, enter the individual subwoofer delay settings as follows. First, measure the distance from the subwoofers to the central listening area. Next, calculate the difference in distance of each subwoofer from the farthest subwoofer in feet. Then, find the delay in milliseconds by dividing the distance in feet by 1.11. Finally, enter the resulting value in the delay section for each respective channel where one millisecond is equal to approximately one foot. After you've measured all the delays and you are confident that you've got valid numbers, you can enter the correcting delays in the plug-in output section. You then should verify that you have minimized the delays by making the same measurements again. Setting of the optimal crossover frequencies is critical to achieving the best overall system performance. Here are the things you need to take into consideration. Depending on the size of your main speakers, 
determine the frequency and slope of the high-pass filter your AVR will be applying to your main speakers. You can choose a matching low-pass frequency and slope for your subwoofers, and then later experiment with different slopes in overlapping or underlapping frequencies. We also recommend adding a 10 Hz or greater high-pass filter to the subwoofers to eliminate unnecessary driver excursion and load on the amplifiers. If your subwoofers have different frequency response ranges, you can set high and low pass filters as shown here to limit amplifier power to their useful frequency range. You can complete the basic setup by adjusting the relative levels of the subwoofers using REW and a mini DSP U-Mic 1 or U-Mic 2. From the central listening area, adjust the relative levels of the subwoofers to be equal. If you're moving on to a Dirac Live project, these settings will remain in place. At this point, the basic setup is complete, and your virtual subwoofer is ready to be connected to your AVR or home theater processor. We also suggest you reset your home theater correction software and begin a new system correction session. If you need more gain from the subwoofer setup, you can apply that on the output page of the Mini DSP plugin.